The government-funded Hong Kong Generative, Generative AI Research and Development Center, or HKGAI, has received a $200 million donation from a property developer. The money will be used to support the development of AI tools. Samantha Lee again. The donation ceremony took place at the central government offices. The Ng Tang Fong Charitable Foundation and Sano Group donated $200 million to support Hong Kong Guy under the government's InnoHK Innovation Program. Financial Secretary Paul Chan and the Secretary for Innovation, Technology and Industry Sun Dong were among those attending the ceremony. Hong Kong Guy has earlier developed the city's first artificial intelligence model, Hong Kong Guy V1. Inspired by DeepSeek, Hong Kong Guy V1 has a localized database and is able to identify Cantonese, Putonghua and English. The model will be able to answer a wide range of inquiries, such as travel plans and movie tickets. Guo Yike, director of Hong Kong Guy, said the donation will be fully devoted to developing the model and creating a safe data platform that can provide technology assistance to local enterprises and research centers. The government considers AI as a core industry in the city. Secretary for Innovation, Technology and Industry Sun Dong expressed gratitude to the donor and pinned hopes on locally developed AI tools. This money may be mainly used for this uh, estab establishment of platforms such as uh, manpower as well as uh, computing power support. Because when you try to run a, a service system to, to the general public, you must have enough resource to support this uh, platform, including human power as well as uh, computing power. I also hope that there's a new version of the mobile version of the large language model of Hong Kong guy will be a, a, a uh, uh, serve the Hong Kong people as soon as possible, hopefully in the next uh, uh, several months. As of now, more than 70 government departments have commenced trials of the Hong Kong Guide application system. The center will continue to develop the system for different scenarios and launch it for public use as soon as possible. Samantha Lee, TVB News.